Kia ora, Mr Chair. Thank you very much. So I rise to speak on the bill that actually reinforces local democracy inside of Auckland. Oh, how very interesting the comment shouted across the floor. The fact that I work twice as hard as that member <laughs> is probably put aside. However, so, but, let us, but let us come back to the bill. Let us come back to the bill in question and what it does. It reinforces the non-hierarchical co-governance model, which is Auckland City. And without it, then God save the people of Auckland would be all I would say. The local boards are the ones who for the last three years have fought to make the, the city the success it is and to maintain the voice of the communities at that level. The local boards, many of them have kept some of their delegations, particularly around land use and the use of the parks and reserves to make sure that Auckland City couldn't take away the local voice in what happens inside their parks and reserves and their sports fields. The local boards have again and again and again gone into the governing body and reinforced that this is a city of many communities with many diverse needs. And the Rodney Local Board, probably more than many, the Waiheke Island Board has been there quite a lot as well. But the Rodney Local Board covering 46% of the landmass of Auckland with a rural voice has needed these delegations, has needed this opportunity, and the city has needed those local boards. So, sir, I don't want to take up a lot of time because this bill is necessary. Not only is it necessary, it's absolutely vital that when considering any other amalgamation inside this country, that local boards are part of that decision making, that rural areas are given the ability to stay outside any amalgamated city, and if not, they must be given a strong, strong voice at any governing body level through that representation at a local board level. I commend the Minister for extending these delegations and I wish all the local boards of Auckland well with the new members that are successful in the coming local body elections. Uh, Sir William Seo. Uh, Mr Chairman, we find ourselves again at